Starbucks is set to report results today after the close. To prepare, we're going to model the company's earnings based on the guidance management gave us from last quarter. And then we're going to run a couple of upside and downside scenarios to see what the impact would be if they beat or miss expectations. Now to do this, we'll be using our Starbucks earnings model. And if you're new to this model, please visit our website, gutenbergresearch.com. Click on the education dropdown, then scroll down to the Starbucks model where you'll find a full demonstration of how this works. With that, we can jump into management's guidance. So let's start by scrolling down to the segment section, and you'll see that our earnings engine for this model is really made up of the new store counts, revenue per store, and operating margin for each one of the segments. Uh, you can see on management's guidance that they give us some indications of what they expect in terms of new store openings for each one of the regions. Um, 600 for the Americas, 200 for Europe, and 850 new stores for China. Uh, they also guided total revenue up 16 to 18 percent. So we use that fact and the normal seasonality for the fourth quarter for each one of the segments um, to estimate our revenue per store. But keep in mind that our model is calibrated at this point in the earnings cycle to meet consensus revenue estimates, which represent the low end of the revenue range at 16.4% growth year over year. So a little bit below management's midpoint of guidance. Um, next, we input management's guidance for operating margin, with the Americas expected to improve modestly over the 2014 fiscal year, Europe at or slightly above 12% and China slightly over 20 percent. We also have um, channel development expectations of an increase of 150 basis points from last year. Um, the last item that management gives us is a tax rate of 31 percent for the full year. So when we plug in all these details, um, the model does in fact get us very close to the consensus EPS estimate of 43 cents. However, we did have to adjust this tax rate to reach that consensus. So if we set the fourth quarter tax rate at 34%, which is what's implied by management's full year 31% um, tax rate, then the EPS would actually be two cents higher. So since we need to be calibrated to consensus, we left it as is, and we just used the tax rate to, um, to make that adjustment. Okay, so next we'll run some scenarios, and you'll just want to take a note of what the current implied average target value per share is before we change anything. Um, we can try to run a downside scenario first. Let's assume that the store additions were only half of what management expected, and that the operating margin was 200 basis points lower for each region. So we're going to go in here, multiply each one of these store additions by 50%. and then we're going to subtract 200 basis points from the operating margin. Okay, when we do that, you can see that the EPS dropped by about 4 cents per share, and the value dropped by a little bit more than $1 per share. Now let's try an upside scenario, and instead of 50% um, decline, uh, let's do let's see what happens when the store counts increase by 1.5 times what management thought they would get for the fourth quarter. And let's also say that the operating margin for each segment beats the expectation by 200 basis points. Under that scenario, not surprisingly, EPS goes up by about 4 cents and the implied share price based on this model goes up by a little over a dollar. Just keep in mind that we have not adjusted any of the future periods in these examples, which would likely have a signif significant impact on share value um, if either one of the scenarios came to pass. If you'd like to try to plug in your own scenarios, please visit our website where you can download this model for free. 
you click on the free models tab and register and then you'll have access to all of our models be sure to check back after tonight's call when we update our model to include the latest results thanks for watching and good luck with the release